The Victorian era, spanning from 1837 to 1901, was a time of great change and industrialization in England. It was also a time of great cruelty, particularly towards children. During this period, child labor was rampant, and many children were forced to work long hours in dangerous conditions for little pay. Here are seven of the cruelest jobs for children during the Victorian era. During the Victorian era, children were employed to clean chimneys in England. Due to their small size, they were able to reach areas adults couldn't. Typically aged between 5 and 14, these poor souls worked in cramped and hazardous working conditions, often suffering from cuts, bruises, and broken bones. Long-term exposure to soot, dust, and smoke often led to respiratory problems, eye infections, and even cancer. Children as young as nine years old were hired as piecers in textile mills. They were tasked with leaning over machinery and tying back together broken cotton threads when they broke. The mills were noisy and dangerous places to work, with workers at high risk of getting caught in the machinery. They were particularly vulnerable to getting their fingers, arms, and clothing caught, leading to severe injuries or amputations. Mule scavengers were also employed in the same textile mills. These children, as young as five years old, were responsible for crawling under the moving machinery, called mules to clean up any thread or cotton that had fallen on the floor. Like the piecers, these children were at risk of being caught in the machinery and severely injured or killed. Leech collecting involved children wading through ponds and rivers to collect leeches by hand. The leeches would often attach themselves to the children and needed to be removed. Many of the collectors would develop infections and other injuries from persistent leech bites and working in untreated water. Toshers were children who worked in London sewers. They sorted through the streams of human waste to find discarded items like coins to sell. The job was hazardous as they waded through nasty sewage and were at risk of disease or drowning. Toshing eventually ended as London's sewer system was modernized, with fewer opportunities to find valuable items. These were young women and girls who worked in match factories. They were responsible for dipping the top of matchsticks into phosphorus. This exposed the workers to phosphorus poisoning, which caused a particularly nasty condition known as fossy jaw. This was the decay of the jawbone and other facial bones, which was excruciatingly painful and often resulted in permanent disfigurement. During the Victorian era, many middle and upper class families hired young children as domestic servants responsible for cleaning and cooking. They often worked long hours for little pay and were subject to harsh treatment from their employers. If you enjoy learning about history, visit the History Skills website. I look forward to seeing you in our next video.